Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to day four, the final day of the Monterey Rolex Motorsports Reunion. Five-minute warning has been given for Group 5B. Row 7 inside, number 6, Andrew Wake, Green Bay, California. That's your starting field for race group 5B, 61 to 63, Formula Junior disc brake cars. And they are starting the pace lap. Pace lap is on the course. We're running a uh, 1962 Formula Junior Lotus 22. The car has a brand new frame. The body's pristine. The detail work on it is, uh, is gorgeous. It's extremely original and period correct. It's got a phenomenal little motor, a J105E. Revs to about 9,000 RPM. We even got an FIA passport for it. Five minute warning has been given for group 5B. Out of turn 11, up to the start finish straightaway, looking for a green flag. Green flag is out. It's incredibly fun to drive, it's uh, really light. You can drift a lot here, the car uh, rewards uh, a little bit of sliding, and the wide open nature of this track and the, the fact that you've got great visibility through the corners makes setting up a little bit of a drift, you know, uh, really, really fun. is incredibly fun to take down the corkscrew. When you get over the top of the corkscrew, you can get on the gas right away, and it squats down and drives out of the corkscrew with a lot of drive and stability. The idea behind the Formula Junior class is that it had all the adjustability, all the dynamics of a Formula One car, but in a smaller, less expensive package designed to teach you something. What's really special about this weekend, it's the 60th anniversary of this racetrack, and it's also one of the big anniversaries for the Formula Junior class, and so we have this uh, extraordinary field of 39 disc brake cars and 40-some front engine cars. As a first-time car, it's wonderful because it rewards really good behaviors, it rewards smooth driving, but it's also really fun. So you, you get the, the, the sort of the lessons in development as a driver, but you also get to enjoy yourself and kind of take in what it would have been like back in the day to have a Grand Prix car.